Hey, it's Dr. Hannah and Shelby with this week's Hot Topic Thursday. So today we're gonna to talk to you about deodorant. Um, deodorant can kind of be a pretty stinky subject for most people. There's a dad joke for the day. Um, so we're gonna kind of just do a quick question and answer um, and then at Shelby will ask a couple questions, I'll answer it, and then that way it'll give you a general um, conversation about some, so. Fire away, Miss Shelby. All right, well, I feel like there's obviously the popular name brands that probably a lot of people use, but I'm sure there's more naturally based ones that you would recommend over those. Yep, so natural based deodorants, they are, their base is mostly baking soda, which will absorb some of that sweat. Which sweat is good, you wanna sweat because it's your body's way of releasing toxins. Um, so again, when you look on the back, that's what they're all gonna say and they'll say what they are. But more common ones that you can get, Arm & Hammer has one, Schmitz, Tom's, um, Everyman Jack, Own, which that's a women's, it's the women's version of Everyman Jack. Uh, Beauty Counter has a really good one and a Pit Paste, I can't remember if I mentioned that before. But those are all, all ones that you can get online there, or some Target has a lot of them. Um, so I think Schmidt and Tom's and every man jack you can get at Target. So um, they're pretty accessible, but those are the more common ones that you can get. There, I mean, there's a ton out there. People, some people will make their own too. Gonna be a little leery of those at first because you don't know how things are made up, how well they work, but um, those are the more common ones that you can get, so. So are there like ingredients that you should probably steer away from then? You mean as far as the natural ones or? Or just the the other more popular brands, I guess. What you wanna look, okay. Yeah. So one of the things that you wanna look for to get away from is aluminum. Um, aluminum has been linked to cancer, so that is one of the things of why people would switch. So stay away from something that has a lot of aluminum in it or the parabens, perfumes. Um, those are some of the things that will, you know, they make you smell great, but they're not doing your body any good because again, they're preventing um, you from sweating, which sweating is how you release toxins. Um, aluminum can build up and you have a lot of lymph nodes um, right in your armpit, so that can draw a lot of toxins into your body. So you wanna stay away from those major things. And again, the natural ones will tell you we don't have these on the side. So those are good things to look forward to just to make sure um, that those are not listed in the natural deodorant, so. Any other questions you have about deodorants? I don't think so, I think yeah. we pretty much covered it. Cool, so again, the big thing to remember is when you switch to a natural deodorant, sometimes in the first couple weeks you have some, you might experience some discomfort because your body's not used to that baking soda, so you could have a little bit of redness, um, you could smell really bad for the first couple weeks. Again, that's part of that body's detox, and most natural deodorants will actually tell you, like, hey, be aware, uh, ready for this. So don't panic, um, that is just kind of a normal process too, but pay attention, like if you're starting to get real red bumps and it's really uncomfortable, stop using it. Don't go through it, don't think that you're doing yourself a favor. So just again, pay attention to your body, see what works best for you. Some natural deodorants work great for others and they may not work for others. So um, just kind of pay attention to those and see what works best for you, make sure you don't stink. People next to you would appreciate that. Um, and then again, if you have any more questions or any more, you know, you find something and you're not quite sure, just shoot me a message, let me know in the office. Um, you can comment below and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. All right, so I think Shelby's just got a couple of housekeeping things and then that'll be it for today. Yes, so we are actually starting Jersey Fridays. Yay, football! Yeah. <laughs> so starting next week, if you wear a jersey into your Friday appointment, your name will be entered in to win a prize. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. we got some new mugs for you, so that may be a prize hint and nudge nudge. We'll have lots more, but. <laughs> Alrighty, that concludes this week's hot topic. You let us know if you have any more questions. We'll see you next week.